well, Rick and Cadian have a lot of grenades here, which may be saved for retake purposes. Sick finished off now, and Rick has limited information. Rick, what does he do here? He's going to rotate back in towards the site, use his smoke grenade to perhaps delay them, or perhaps he'll hold on to it for now. And, well, there goes the smoke grenade and the flash. In fact, that smoke could potentially be picked up if it was the last one he was holding on to by the T's. And Rogue. Oh, this is a rough one. It's a pistol round, though, so often you just want to go for these. They have Headshots. a kit, at least. That's all that matters. There was a... Rick never threw his smoke. I don't know if the T's used it or if they picked it up. Either way, there is a smoke towards that banana position. Now it's a five on three. Hold for Space Soldiers. They've got the Heat and Potty set up on the site as well. Heartstyle just shoulder peeking, allowing his teammates to come and use that numbers game. Really abusing the power there. And now they're in a three versus one. And uh, there's not much Kading can do but make a little money towards the end. That will allow him to buy a scout if but six there on his own. Yeah, 40 seconds less than to go. And Space Soldiers will have to work with what they have, and that's the B push. Sick sitting in the fountain with the fishes, and it will be a very devastating defense. Two quick headshots from Sick, 25 seconds to go. Has he done enough damage? Two players here for Space Soldiers to try to plant the bomb, and they it's very awkward for them. Eventually, Hardstyle is going to get that plant going major. Oh, they've stopped the plant, and they will finish off the rest of Space Soldiers. Putting pressure on all sides of the map, and Rick, it goes out for a re-peek, seeing what's going on here towards Top Banana. Santaris with a fairly deep angle, and if there is to be a flashbang from Hostile for him, then perhaps he can go for a nice peek, but Rikke with a lovely angle will deal with that no problem. And that is going to put the pressure on for Space Soldiers. 30 seconds as they start to move into Top Mid, that's all they have to work with. I'm sure Santaris must have heard six rotation, which may be got him to peak in the first place, but they're still going to press towards the A fight regardless. Nice flick from Cadian. He needs one more player, but there are two on, on, on uh, Arch. There's Hardstyle continuing forward, but only so much he can do. He's down to Calix. One versus two now. Ten seconds, and Sick will win the fight. The bomb won't get planted. Work out for them, but they're on the buy regardless. And again, Hardstyle will take the worst weapon. Gambles were made. Didn't pay off. And uh, Mage just picked an apps with a P250 to kick things off. Or is it a P2000? Whatever it is. It's a three versus five. Very quickly. Yeah, Rogue are really recovering from some of the losses that they've had in the previous rounds. This is looking so clean right now. It's desperation here for Space Soldiers. Such a big question mark on how they can possibly get into one of these bomb sites. Hiko's been anchoring very effectively up until this point. And we have no reason to doubt him just yet. And four players will be stood to attention for this A push. Everything is covered here right now. Kadian with another whiff. That does give an opening here. Paz going for that frag. 45 seconds, and Rogue can rotate everybody. It's quite telegraphed, but they have to get the kills. These Rogue players, and Hiko once again delivers. Beautiful. So, this is brilliant. Vice can hear all that action on Banana as well. Paz looking to just push straight in. This could be a way out here for Space Soldiers if they can just somehow barrel down the defense on that B side. Oh, but that is the bomb in the back and the smoke forward in front of it will cause all kinds of problems here for Space Soldiers. Oh dear. Well, we've seen this before as well, but this time it looks even worse. I think it was a game with FaZe, but the flashbangs will rescue them and the bomb's been taken away. However, there is one player in construction. And the CT is now spreading out around second mid, mid, and Kadian rotating, going up speedway. There are no smokes to clear this position, which will compromise the post plant areas for space soldiers. They've got one flash, and they choose to take it. Oh, it's going to flash Calix as well. That was a massive frag, and it will come in. Now, two players up banana. Santarez must deliver here, and they've made it a lot easier. The bomb has been planted, and now we're down to a four versus two. Do they keep going, Rogue? That's a tough one, isn't it? How's the money situation for Rogue right now? It's not too shabby. And, you know, in saving these two guns, if they're able to do so, you know, they'll be in good stead still to keep the pressure on in the following rounds. And Kadian whittling down the survivors, or what could be the survivors here. That's two taken down by Kadian. What else can he find? They'll be looking for this frag as he crosses. And there's a missed shot. Kadian looking to go back to the well with that one. And, of course, the bomb will do the job for Just like that. Lots of presence here. Space Soldiers perhaps going with what works. That quick B push. 
was a gem last round, looking to get it going this time. Ricky starts things off well, has to do it all. Two quick ones from him, that's all he can get for his side as the Space Soldiers will plant their flag firmly on the B-bomb side, take control. And that bomb is now ticking away. 3v3 though, definitely opportunities here for Rogue. Pico looking for a potential flank, but all three players are on site and they're looking at the radar, they're almost playing the same position. Two in the dark spot and one on new box, that's Zantares. Our players move forward and Space Soldiers move into more aggressive positions, maybe expecting a save. We've got a player near construction now. The body block option isn't really an option. Because it could be just the one person here, and most coming on short. Flashbang, Seiko falling down to the balcony, five spots, one on short. Raises his alarm, he's going back to top mid, why is he going there? Well, he's at his death now, and that is a wipe out the bomb on the floor. 27 seconds left, five versus two, and Space Soldiers maybe uh, just left to run to their doom now. It's looking like hard labor here, into the trade, and they'll finish off the job, Rogue. I don't know what the deal is in pit, because they can't shot go a little wide. Can Cadian survive in this situation though? See there's a delay with a jiggle pick from Paz. He's waiting for his teammates to catch up for a trade frag. Not required though, but Vice will take him out eventually. Smoke on Arch now. They've probably seen the bomb at this point on the radar, but they could go back towards uh, CT and B, which is why Rick is forced to retreat. Everything's slowing down and now the T's have the sights. Head stuff for Eco. Finds one, can't connect on the second head. What can Ricky do with an AWP? He can't really do too much, can he, from this position? Easy alarm. Now we see Sick making his way towards that A site. kenny has got to deliver here for his team. And ooh, it's not having a good time of it. Sort of committing Vice in defending him early on. And Space Soldiers ran with that momentum. 3v3 retake onto this A site. This is a, this is a nice angle for Cady, and He can see a little bit through the smoke. Um, now, from that position, you want to see if any T's cross towards that pit area. He can't see somebody jumps off the balcony, but sometimes gambles have to be made. And they start to charge in. One down per side, Molotov's flying through. Sick has a defuse kit, and here he is. Now it's down to Zantares, the one and only. There is a kit gone. Ricky, time to save now. The bomb's too far ticked, but he's committing to this with the oh. AWP. What? I don't know how he managed to do that. He's picked up a kit as well. Has he got time though? Surely not. Oh, that was close. That was a close one. I have no idea how Ricky hit that shot moving forwards, but he did. <laughs> Keeping it simple. The B-burst is afoot. Xantaris doesn't quite get the engagement he wants. Kalix forced out from the flames. Major, will they check for him? Another player in this close position. He will be dealt with very easily. A shallow grave for him now as Xantaris is helpless behind that smoke. Can't do anything. And Katie with a very close position. Good for the one. Gets the info, but Paz strikes again. And now maybe Xantaris can finally get himself in there. He will. Quick headshot onto Vice, leaving Rikke in the one versus two. They don't know exactly where he is just yet. Has the USP. Needs to make these shots count. Given his position up now as they start to close in on him. Rikke can't get it done. It's Xantaris for the third one. Very patient. Very patient. Or whatever. We'll see how it continues to play out. Paz going for the information. See how he doesn't take the fight. Falls back instead to uh, fight on high ground, if you will. There's a nice two-man, three-man from Major. There's a fourth man to find, but he'll fall back towards Library. That's a great start for Space Soldiers. Yeah, can't ask for much more than that. Beautiful stuff there from Major. Two players to try to do some damage here for Rogue. Surely they can't find all that much more than that. Sick with a free one onto Hardstyle, though. And that'll be a two versus four. Over a minute to play with. Vice with a good vantage point. Finds himself with Antares around the smoke. And it's just too much here for Vice between Paz and Major. Major head forwards once again. Major looks like he wants to, but he goes back to the side. They've got some information. Santares has a look in boiler, but the temperature's too high. So now we have denial of information for Space Soldiers. Paz is forced back. He doesn't have his teammate with him anymore. So Space Soldiers don't know what's going on top mid. They've been forced away from Banana. Soroga now in a much better position and have a man of Ricky making some noise towards B, just trying to delay any rotation to assist this A defense. That's some great damage spread across those players, but unfortunately, it's just one left on the bomb site. Kalix can only get a single headshot as he goes down, and that's three men on that A bomb site with the bomb plant and space soldiers. Not too much they can do. Ricky, he did a great job. He had he created a lot of uh, presence towards that B site. He survived with full HP, a huge amount of control on the map for free. 
which just allows them to run drills. And here is the aggression. Shut down, though, by KD in that run by Xantaris. He will not make it to the finish line. Oh, that is disgusting. Kadian taking down Major through the wall. You can't ask for a better start in a round than that. Five versus three, Space Soldiers. Do they just stack three on a site at this point? What do they do? Yeah, I was wondering that myself. Is it even worth Paz? I mean, maybe he drops a smoke here and then falls back to A. Because saving with three at this point, they're, they're heading towards max loss bonus, I believe. They are spread so thin now. You can see up top they've lost four rounds in a row, so they are indeed heading towards max loss bonus. This is a call from Rogue too, you know, they get the two kills. You know, there are some teams that would just try to force the issue and run into that B site, even when your teammates aren't with you. Rogue, you know, they, they are confident. This is a show of confidence. They just wait. They group up. They see if there's a response from the CTs and aggression somewhere. There is not. And now they've got 40 seconds, which is ample time to make a decision. Still gathering information, and they could still go towards A if they'd like. And it looks like that's what they're doing here. The bomb is towards Banana still, but now it's starting to make its way up to top mid. Will it rotate back, though? I do wonder. No, that would have been crazy. But here we are. So Kalex has been uh, left to fend on his own. I think a full rotation one way or another would have been quite something. Trying to stop the bomb from being planted, he will get traded. Now his teammates are out of position, and of course they will be eliminated. So I think it was... I think you agree, you know, we just channel your energy on one of the two sites. Drop the smoke towards B. A lot of rich information for him. He's got a flash as well, so we can enable this balcony burst, but the flash will do absolutely nothing. Not sure where it went. Paz gets two kills out of it. Can't reload just yet. Stick with Kraven, though. Major doing what he can, and now it's down to Kalex coming in through CT spawn. One versus two. Note how the bomb's planted safely, not on short where there's no cover. Planted in the site. Now, Kalex doesn't have a kit. I'm not sure if his teammates did, if there's one around the A site. The Molotov... Where does he think it came from? Did he hear it bounce off the wall? If it bounced off the wall, could tell him something. Sig has, uh, oh, he's playing an off angle, so he's going to play the trade frag. But is this going to work out? Kadian spotted. Yes, it's head scene, and he sees his as well.